Hi guys, this is take three. I'm going to make this about a specific subject. And that subject is about people judging others. I'm going to turn that light off for a minute so it's going to go dark. Because I've got my grotto lit up. Although I will just switch the main lights on while I do this. Just bear with me for a second. Just put my coke down. Now, what brought this up is uh, I've got a transgender friend on Facebook. In fact, I've got three. One I'll class as, an in re as a real-life friend because I have met her. We have hung out. And when I can get over, I can hang out again. Uh, and the others are just... At the moment, well, one's in America, so online friend, and the other one, again, a bit too far for me to, you know, just to go and see. And I'm not much of a traveller, which doesn't help. Um, but anyway, she's, she does get a bit emotional, especially when she gets misgendered. And I can understand that, pissing anyone off. I mean, she does make the full effort to come across as feminine. She's got the hair, the makeup, the clothes, tits. Not man boobs, tits. You know. And she still had, especially like shop staff and whatnot, refer to her as Sir. Now, to me, when you've got all that feminine stuff staring you right in the face... It shouldn't matter what facial features might still look masculine. People should think, right, this person's coming across as female, dressing as a female. Maybe I should refer to them as ma'am. You know. It's not hard. I'm just going to sit down at my PS3. It's not hard. People don't like... To be judged. Uh, she's even been beaten up this year. Just for being a trans woman. So it was basically a hate crime. And that has really knocked her confidence out of her. And I have actually noticed she's been a lot more sort of... <sighs> she has these... Moments, I suppose, where she can be a bit emotional or quite emotional, you know, dysphoric, I think is the correct term, which I actually had to go and look up because I had no idea what the hell that was. I do now. <laughs> um, and she was actually apologising, you know, for being like that, but to me, it seems like dysphoria is a mental condition, so it's something that can't be helped, so she shouldn't be apologising. But, uh, yeah. I don't understand why people have got to be that judgmental. And I actually said on her video she put on Facebook, people who ignore the fact, you know, you're trying to come across as a woman are either being thick as two short planks or deliberately ignorant. So, and why have people got to be nasty and call names? What business is it of anyone's, anyone else's? Yeah, they might look different in, when they're out in the street, you know, and it might be obvious that they're trans. Um, there's actually one person I know that is trans as well, but I'm not sure she'd want to be mentioned, so I'm not going to mention names. <laughs> but uh, I might actually ask her at some point if she's had that sort of similar trouble, you know, with the bullying... It's just like, as I've mentioned before, I'm a brony. 
got into the My Little Pony fandom f three months ago. I kept it quiet for quite a while. Until I decided, no, fuck it. It's my life. My decisions. My home. I'll do what I like. But on these Facebook groups, it seems like some bronies do get bullied. Just because they like the show and collect a few bits of the memorabilia. But I was watching videos on um, YouTube where the cast, well, the voice actors, go to BronyCon so the fans can meet them. And they actually support the fandom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, why not? But uh, why judge? You know? I oh, know, it's a kid's thing. It's girly. But it doesn't stop me doing man things. It's not making me any less of a man. It's just an interest. I've not been bullied yet. <laughs> and I don't think anyone has unfriended me on Facebook yet. <laughs> yeah, as, as I say, there's always a first time for everything. But... I really do not understand why people have just got to be fucking assholes. You know, my interests aren't harming anyone. And I'm sure your interests don't harm anyone else either. You know, as I've said before, I don't judge people. I don't like to be judged myself. You know, I don't want people to judge me based on my interests. I mean, this is probably this flat probably resembles more of a a kid's bedroom rather than an adult's place to live. You know, because I've got fucking Lego everywhere. Ponies up on the shelf. Ponies on the bed. Probably more ponies are going to be on that shelf at some point. <laughs> I've got big ass plastic toy tractors around. Oh dear. But as I've said before. I don't care if you're gay, straight, bisexual, pansexual, or any other sexuality out there. I don't care if you're transgender. I don't care if you're Christian, Mormon, Muslim. I know the media put Muslims in a very bad light, but I don't paint everyone with the same brush. Uh, well... I don't care if you're black, I don't care if you're African, Jamaican, Asian, Russian, German, I don't care where you come from, what you look like, what your hobbies are and interests are, or what your sexuality is. I judge you on whether you're an asshole or not. Basically, if you're an asshole, I don't like you. If you're not an asshole, I like you. <laughs> Simple. If you're going to judge, then to me, you're an asshole, so I don't like you. You know? I mean, there's people out there with... Well, lots of weird and wonderful interests out there. There's... I'm just trying to think of some. Actually, I did have some in my mind earlier. Um, I've seen articles on Facebook where... People dress as, what do they call it, adult babies. You know, they dress in the big diaper and the big pacifier and bibs and shit. And perhaps their girlfriend or wife or someone, you know, treats them like the kid they're dressing up as. You know, and that's what they enjoy doing. Obviously there's some people out there that always has to take things like that that one step further, you know, by turning it into something sexual, which, again, if that's what they want to do in their own home, I don't give a fuck. It's in their own home. You know, in their own bedroom. Do what you want to do. I don't care. Why should it bother me? It's in their home, their lives. It's not affecting me in any way, shape or form. So, yeah, I might think it's weird, but Again, it's up to them. 
No, I've got friends in various different religions. I know Christian friends. I know a pagan. I know some Mormons. Oh, I've got a bit of heartburn. I might have to go and grab an antacid out of my coat pocket. Anyway. So. Oh. What's happened there? <laughs> I just got dis um, distracted by one of my Christmas decorations. <laughs> What's happened to that one? <laughs> it's fallen in half. <laughs> oh dear. I'm going to have to... Uh, I wonder how long that's been like that, because I've only just noticed it. Oh well. Yeah, basically my message is... Please don't judge. It doesn't harm you. And if you are just going to judge someone or troll them online, then you're just a fucking asshole to me. <laughs> There's just no need for it. But anyway, on that note... I don't think there's much more I want to say. You know, apart from the usual, don't judge, be nice. Treat others how you would like to be treated. We are all human beings at the end of the day. No one's better than anyone else. Some might have better jobs than others, or perhaps a bit more money than others, but no one's better than anyone else. We are all humans. So, thanks a lot for watching. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the message I give, share the video. Feel free to share any of my videos. I don't care. <clears throat> so there, I've said it in the open now, so I can't <laughs> take that back, can I? If you want to share the videos, share them. Just don't put them on your own channel and then claim it as yours. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Adios, amigos.